Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks sexy AF. That <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back and today I want to talk about a fancy frou-frou hard drive. I want to talk about my new Seagate Ultra Touch external hard drive. I don't know if you saw it in my other videos but I know I'm going to be going to Copytex in a couple of months and I hope you guys are going to follow me when I'm there and we're visiting all the NAS and DAS brands and all that but put that to one side. I knew that when I was out there I'm going to need a new bit of portable storage so rather than beg one of the brands which I'll be honest is totally what I do I decided to buy myself an external hard drive. And I was originally looking at the Lacey series, I won't lie, because I quite like that rubber, you know, protection on the outside. And then when I was looking at some of the stuff, I saw that Seagate have a new series of drives. These are fabric-covered drives. And I won't lie, I am a big, big wuss when it comes to these sort of things. And I caved. I love the idea of a hard drive covered in fabric. So in this video, what I'm going to do is give you a real, real close-up unboxing of this product that I'm going to take with me. Now, this is available now for about 50 quid uh, from the guys at Span. It's one terabyte of storage. There's a 2TB version available for about 70 quid, but I didn't think I'd need that much. And it's available in the different fabric patterns. There's a white and a black one as well. And the drive itself arrives with two years of warranty and supports USB 3 connectivity. It's even got some change adapters included in the box, along with some Seagate backup software that I'm probably not going to use because I'm going to use a NAS. But... I thought you guys would be interested to see just what this drive looks like. Because not a lot of people are talking about this. Let's face it, external drives are pretty dull. Um, but, I don't know, a drive that's got that nice fabric outside there in your pocket and stuff. I think it's going to look pretty cool. So, let's move over to the other camera and take a closer look at our new Ultra Touch backup drive. Right, so here we are. Here is our... Backup plus Ultra Touch. There's, don't worry, that's not actual real fabric. Now I'm going to try to angle this less so the light doesn't go mental while we're looking at it. But there's our box there, lots of information there with regards to our software, the backup software there, and the adapter that is included inside. But apart from that, it's fairly normal. There's about compatibility there. Usual sort of stuff that you'd expect with this drive, and lots of information there. But let's break the seal. Let's get this bad boy out of here. Um, you'll have to forgive my hands looking like hell. Um, currently got lots of stuff happening at home and a cat that's not very happy about it. Look at my hand. So, let's get that out of there. Let's get this seal off of there. I could fast forward this, but I'm not going to. Let's have a look. We'll remove the seal from Seagate. Take a look at our drive. Right, so what do we get with our drive? Get that out of there. And wallop. There's the box, if you guys are done with that, get rid of that. Ultra Touch backup software there, just going to mention some information about the drive. First time installation guide there. Again, if you've never had one of these drives before, that is a lot of information. Uh, on top of that, we've got the Adobe Creative Photo Plan. Again, I think this is to do with cloud services and synchronization with Mac-based devices. On top of that, warranty information. Information I don't know 100% certain about if you want to create your own code for the device and the Milo create and again Not too sure what this is, but it's something that's included with the drive Let's be honest what we're interested in is the contents of this. This is what we want to see don't we? Let's get that out of there. Let's see if it's gonna be as difficult as it looks like it might be Get that there. Doesn't help. I'm leaning over a camera of course and What we'll do is we'll save opening the drive till last obviously but we'll pop that there Inside, quite interesting, we have a USB-C to USB-A adapter for USB-3. That's going to be quite handy. It'll be interesting to test what happens if I connect this drive to my phone, actually. Probably nothing, but it's worth a go. Might try that off camera. And on top of that, move that from there. And here is our USB cable. And again, that uses that flatter, more enterprise-level SSD connection. Then this is the one that utilizes USB mini with the extra power functionality built into it. So again, USB A for the other end of the connection and that one there for the drive. And again, if you do want to, if you're using USB C port, of course you can connect those in there and wallop, you have a USB C drive. And once again, I will try and send, try this out on my phone, maybe either off camera or I'll do it at the end of the video. I'll pop that there. But now we want to look at this. Right, let's have a look at this drive. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's have a good listen there. Bring that up to the mic. 
Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks sexy AF. That is a nice looking drive. It's not a big drive either. The fabric isn't all the way around. That disappoints me a little bit. Don't get me wrong, if it's on my table, it's gonna look all right, but I'm a little disappointed that fabric isn't all the way around. Um, the connection, as we've already mentioned, is that one, that USB-B mini there. Let me have a look there, move all the way around. It is nice. Oh, I do like the feel of this drive. Right, now, this drive itself, again, is a terabyte in storage. For an extra 20 quid, getting the two terabyte did seem like something I could have done, but I didn't bother with. But what I will say about this drive straight away is that does add to grip. It does feel a lot more grippable. One of my biggest problems I always had with Seagate's range of external drives is, unlike a number of other brands, they didn't feel very grippable. They were trying to make them as small as possible and it made them very droppable. But at least this disc doesn't seem to have that problem. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly test this out by connecting it to another device and to see what happens. So the next part of the video, I thought it would be interesting to move it over to my mobile phone, largely because although you know if I'm going to connect this external drive to my PC uh, that I've got here over USB-A or USB-C, I wanted to show you guys what happens when you connect this drive via USB Type-C. I'm using a Nexus, uh, not a Nexus, what am I saying? It's the uh, Pixel 2 XL, which features a USB um, C port and I've got the drive I've not connected it before and I'm going to connect it now to see what happens live I've connected that drive there and we're going to see what my phone does upon connection of this drive I can tell you right now that the SSD I'm uh, sorry the external hard drive has spun up the lights are on it is being powered by my mobile and straight away at the top of the device I can see we have an option issue with Seagate USB drive tap to fix so the drive needs to be formatted, so let's format the drive. It's an empty 1TB drive, but already I'm pretty impressed that this drive's going to work with my phone. One of the main reasons I was going to go for a drive like this is because often when you're at trade shows, you're going to find yourself using your mobile phone to take lots of pictures because it's easier than hulking around a big camera. That added to the fact that a number of mobile phones these days have such, good, um, such high video quality that often a mobile phone can take as good a video quality for just standard stock shots as a high-end camera. So it was one of the main reasons I wanted to drive that was compatible with a mobile phone. And I'm pleased to say that the Seagate Touch Drive is compatible with that. Although what I would say is formatting one terabyte drives is probably going to take a wee old while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a few more seconds. And then I think I'm going to wrap this video up for my brand new Seagate Touch external drive. I'm not stupid, I know f functionality when it comes to a fabric covered hard drive is virtually nothing. In fact, some might argue it might increase the heat, but I doubt it. And here we are, we are on our interface here of this USB drive that I've connected to my phone. So straight away, we can now interact with this one terabyte external drive over USB-C on a mobile phone, which I'll be honest, I know is fairly basic, but for me it's pretty impressive indeed. If we use Astro File Manager here, and we just look at my file manager here, we can make our way into any external drives or anything that's connected. If we add local storage, we can go, it's not gonna appear in that software, but the device is visible here on Android's own file manager, because there it is, it's being displayed there. If we make my way to a folder on the device, let's have a quick look, let's go for images. We can go for a folder here, we've got different ones that I've used in different albums previously. If we go for download folder some woefully offensive videos and photos there we'll copy those to the external drive go there go to the external drive and we'll copy and now we're copying data to our new drive there we go we'll go back into the seagate drive and our files are transferred fantastic but again, that has been this Seagate Touch Drive, which I'm still woefully, just fantastically impressed by. And I hope you guys are thinking about this too. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.